In New York City this morning, a jogger is fighting for her life after a brutal attack in Central Park. Viciously battered and unconscious, wearing only a jogging bra, her hands tied over her mouth. The suspects are 14 and 15 year olds who blazed a nighttime trail of terror. Assaulting an elderly man, attacking a male runner, hitting another person with a lead pipe. At one time, the group is running in a pack of more than 25 youths. The victim is now in critical condition at Metropolitan Hospital. Two skull fractures, a significant loss of blood, and advanced hypothermia. If she lives, it's likely she'll suffer from brain damage. Eight suspects were arraigned this weekend, aged 14 to 17. The district attorney's office says the teenagers have confessed. The spokesman said some of those confessions are on videotape. I couldn't believe it, but I stayed there. The group was large, so I didn't know who was capable of doing anything like that. Like, I know I didn't have nothing to do with it, but I was getting blamed for it. When I was in the room, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't even go by the name of Antron, that's why I know they didn't know me. Anybody who knew me knew me as Tron, that's why I know. When it's like, well, Kevin said Antron did it. I'm like, who's Kevin? I don't even know Kevin. Kevin don't know me. I didn't know who did it. Um, I just know I didn't do it, so I was just trying to get everybody back. I was just blaming whoever. My name is Elizabeth Lederer. I'm an assistant district attorney in New York County. We'd like to talk to you tonight about what happened in Central Park last night on the night of April 19th of 1989. Before I do that, let me just state who's also present in this room with us. Um, this is Detective McCabe and Detective Hildebrand. Uh, I think you've already met them. Also present are, I believe, your parents. Um, could you each please state your full name? My name is Linda McCray. Bob McCray. And ma'am, what is your relation? I'm his mother. And, okay. Um, before I go any further, I want to warn you of your rights with uh, respect to anything you say in this case. You have the right to remain silent and to refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Anything that you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand? Yes. You have the right to consult a lawyer now before any questioning and to have a lawyer present during any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. If you have no lawyer or cannot afford a lawyer, a lawyer will be provided for you now, free of charge, before any questioning. Do you understand? Yes. Now that I've advised you of your right, are you willing to speak to me and tell me the truth about what happened in Central Park on the night of April 19th of 1989? Yes. Uh, I'd also like to state it is now just a few minutes before 1 a.m., I think it is. Uh, April 21st of 1989, and we are at the 24th precinct. Would you please tell us what your full name is? Antron Lamont McCray. McCray? And uh, these two people who are sitting, sitting, seated here, are they your parents? Yes. How old are you? 15. Prior to coming here to the 24th precinct tonight, um, did the detectives or somebody when you were at the 20th precinct give you something to eat? Yes. You, so you've had something to eat? Yes. And um, all right, you spoke with the detectives earlier tonight. Yes. Okay, and you gave them a statement? Yes. Before you gave them a statement, did they advise you of your Miranda rights? Yes. Okay. Um, why don't you start then and tell us what happened in Central Park on the night of April 19th of 1980? Okay. I started, I came in my house, like around, eat something. And my mother told me to go to the store. Where is your house? My mother told me to go to the store and I was with my friend Clarence. So I could go out and buy some Chinese food. Do you know Clarence's full name? I, Clarence Thomas. Okay. And then I, I told her it'd be better if I get it at home. When my father comes so it could be warm. And so she said, okay, so I went back outside. 
me and class, we walked through outside. And that's when we see um, um, my friends. Okay, who, which friends did you see when you went outside? My friend Raymond and a couple other friends. Um, um, and a couple other friends. Do you remember any of their names? Raymond. Um, What's Raymond's last name? I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. learn generally like Is that Raymond Santana? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, did you also see a friend maybe by the name of Kevin Richardson? Yes. Is that somebody that you know too? Yes. And uh, was there somebody named Steve Lopez? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that someone who's a friend of yours as well? Yes. And uh, was there anybody else there that you can think of? It is um, my friend Javon. Somebody named Tony? Yes, and Tony. Okay, and how about uh, somebody by the name of T? Yeah, T. T? Mm -hmm. How many were you all together, do you think? About 30 of us. Okay, was Lamont McCall there too? Yeah, cool. I probably, I, I don't know his name, but I probably know his face. Okay. There were 30 of you all together when you started out? Yes. Yeah, where'd you go? We went to Central Park. Where did you go in Central Park? We went down. Um, we went to um, Huntington Street, we were actually Huntington Street. And what did you do when you got to Huntington Street? We got to Huntington Street, we, we, walked, we walked around the lake, walked around the lake. We went up the hill, from Central Park, the hill, and he was on the road. Okay, you were on the road? Yeah. You went up the hill, uh, that's at the north end. Do you, do you know whether you were on the east side or the west side of the park? Uh, I don't know. Please don't. I think we were on the east side starting here. We were on the east side. Okay. What happened next? Then we was walking. And then we seen a bum. You saw a bum? Yeah. Um, where did you see the bum? And I, I think. We seen a bum by uh, these baseball diamonds, baseball fields. I don't know. I don't know the street. So were you still on the road or had you gone into the park? We was in the park, but it's, it's a road. We were on the road. We was on there. We was on the road. Who saw the bum? All of us. What did you do when you saw the bum? We let him pass by, and then this kid with three gold caps grabbed him, threw him on the ground. How did he grab him? By the, he grabbed him by the, by the shirt. The guy was like swung him around. Do you know who that guy with the gold cap, you, you mean his gold cap on his teeth? Mm -hmm. Do you know who he is? No. Would you recognize him if you saw him again? Probably. He grabbed him and threw him on the ground? Yes. And what did everybody else do? Everybody started kicking him and hitting him. Okay. Did you also start kicking and hitting him? Oh, I hit him. You hit him? Yes. With your hand? Or With my hand. Did anybody have any kind of a weapon or a stick? Not. I don't mean back there, no. Okay. Okay, so you hit him with your hand in the yes. chest. Was he already on the ground when you hit him? Yeah, he's on his knees. Yeah. And how many times do you think you hit him? I don't know, like once, twice, once, really. Okay, once, twice. And he had, he had a back, he had a, he had a um, tool for him okay. and a beer. And what happened? And he took it, his kid named Tony took it. Who, who took it? Tony. Tony. And then he, he ate some of it and then like he started sharing it. Everybody, everybody so everybody, everybody it. shared the food? No, it is nasty so we just threw it away. I'm sorry, you have to speak a little bit louder. I it is nasty so we just threw it away. It wasn't very good. Yeah. Um, and somebody said he had a beer too? Yes. Um. Did somebody take the beer away from him? Took the beer, pulled it off. Who did that? I don't know. No, pulled it off. Do you know who took it? Do you know who took it? I just know who pulled it off. Because he took the, 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 um, the food first. He took the food first. And the beer. And my pulled it off. Was the bum, uh, was this guy screaming or crying when you were hitting him? No. He, he was like, He's like kind of knocked out. Okay. And uh, what happened after you took the food and the beer away from him? Then, like, he's going to walk, but he's in the middle of the road. So, we, like, we dragged him over to the sidewalk. We dragged him, we dragged him over. Okay. Who dragged him? All of us. Everybody? Yeah. And where did you, where did you put him? On the grass. Like, right? the grass. Okay. Was he awake or alert when you did this? Yeah, he's, he's awake. Okay. What happened after you did that? And then we dragged him over, and then we start walking. We start walking down the road. And then we seen, we seen men and a woman on a bike. 
or like two, like two, two bikes. A bike made for two people, yeah, but it's one bike. For two people. And then like we start like, chasing them when we come catch them. Okay. Let me just ask you a question and go back for a minute. You didn't have any. You weren't drunk when you went out with your friends tonight, were you? No. You hadn't smoked any crack. No. You hadn't used any drugs. No. So you were pretty clear-headed. Yes. Okay. Now when uh, you said that uh, people started chasing the two people on the bike. Yes. Uh, did you also chase? Yes. And you weren't able to catch them. What was the next thing? Where did everybody go then? We kept walking down the road. We kept walking. What were you guys? What were you guys doing? What were you looking for? Nothing really. You just go in the park. Yeah, yes. Well, when you when you chased those two people and then you couldn't catch them, did somebody say, "Let's go here" or "Let's go there" or "Let's do something"? No, we just all started like all started walking, and then we went to like the baseball games. Mm -hmm. We went to the house, the house with the handball court, the yeah. handball, past people, past and stuff. And then that's when we crossed the road. Everything. When you say you crossed the road, are you talking about the um, the road that has the traffic on it? Yeah. The 96, 97 Street transverse. Yes. Right. So you crossed over that, and uh, where'd you go? And then we by we by the reservoir. The tennis course in the reservoir. Right. What happened when you got? No, we we used to on. We first we used to on um before after the bomb we used to on um bottles and bottles and rocks at the um, taxi at the taxi and a cab pulled over. Where were you throwing the bottles and rocks from? From from Louis from the grass Louis is that? From above the wall into onto the cars and no, the No, no, no. It's before after after we um beat up the bomb. Yeah. He's on that road, and then we just started, like, when the car came, we started throwing bars and stuff. They hit the cab, and one cab stopped. And that's, that's why, that's why we went to, like, um, the other side, because we was all running, because the cab stopped. It was all running. When you're saying you're throwing bottles and rocks at the cabs, were those cabs that were driving around in the park, or were those cabs that were driving through the park on that, uh, street on yeah, 96? on that street. It was on that street. It was on that, it was on 100, it was with the bombers at 100. Okay, so it was within the park on yeah, the roadway? Yeah, yeah, on the roadway, yeah. And you got scared because some cab stopped when you were. Yeah, well, so we Did you throw anything at the cab? Yeah. So we all walked over and we crossed the road that 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 ninety six street thing we crossed, and we, that's when we was at the tennis court and everything. Okay. What happened when you got to the tennis court? We was at the tennis court, and then we we seen this lady, jogging lady. She had, she had on blue shorts and a white a white shirt. She was talking and everything. We was gonna let her go, and then, and then we just grabbed her. Okay, where did you first see her? She's like, she's jogging like um the, the um thing around the reservoir. Just right, jogging yeah. on the path around the reservoir. Who was the first person who saw her? It's okay. Yeah, I don't know his name. It's okay. He had a black hoodie. A black. Uh, black hoodie. Black hood. Black hood. Yeah. And did he? What did he do when he saw her? Did he say anything? Yeah. What did he well, say? We didn't, know that, we, didn't think that was a, we didn't think that was a lady at first when we seen her. And he looked like a man. She looked like a man. But when we seen her, he told everybody, everybody just waited. She just came. I'm sorry, can you speak up a little bit louder? And he, told, he, he told everybody, so everybody just waited until she came back. Okay, when you say you waited, where did you wait? Like behind trees and like on the ground and stuff. Right. right next to the path around the reservoir? Yes. And everybody sort of hid? Yeah. And what happened as she uh, as she came closer? And that's when we all charged her. Okay. Did you charge her? Mm hmm. And who else charged her? Everybody. Everybody that was there. Well, what were the names of the people who charged her? Um, me, Clarence, um, Kevin, and um, um, so Tony, Tony, Tony me, Steve, Steve Tony, Lopez. Yeah. And, uh, and Raymond. And Raymond. Were there other people in addition to those people? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know what it means. I just don't know. About how many people were you all together, do you think? Oh, yeah. And then, like, like after, like, after, after, um, we, we beat up the bomb, like, some of us, like, spread, like, spread up a little. So there was, like, 20 something of us. Yeah. There were 20 of you before or after you split up? After you split up. So when you went to, um, when you, saw her running and you say that there were less of you than there had been when you first came into the park and you charged her uh was was there a tall thin black guy with you too yes and do you know what that person's name is no is that the guy with the gold teeth no that's a different one yes. is that the guy who had uh, a hood 
A blackfish? Yeah. Still different. Yes. Okay. What happened when you charged her? You charged her. And like you got her on the ground. Everybody started hitting her stuff. And she was on the ground. Everybody stopped and everything. And she got hit. And then, then we grabbed each of them. Like, I grabbed one arm. Mm -hmm. This other kid grabbed one arm. And we grabbed her legs and stuff. And we got her. What's the tunes getting on her? Like, getting on top of her. I'm sorry, you have to say. What's the tunes getting on top of her? Who? Uh, okay, who got. Well, let me back up for a second. You charged her. Who. Who's the first person who got to her? Who knocked her down? The kid, the kid, um, the kid got on first floor, but he's like, he's like behind her, he wants his trust. And, did you hit her? Uh, yes, kicked her. Okay, where did you kick her? I don't know how to kick her, I just kicked her. There's like a whole bunch of us. Right. And, who else kicked her? Um, um, Kevin, um, the others. And, that uh, tall, thin black guy was asking about, um, did you see him hit her in the ribs? Hmm? Did you see somebody hit her in the ribs? I heard it. I see. I heard it. You heard it. What did you hear? It, it sounded like like it sounded like you you hit in your chest. It sounded like that. Okay. Was she screaming? Is that how you could tell that she had been hit? She wasn't screaming. She was, she was hurt though. She wasn't screaming. She was hurt. Yeah. How could you tell she was hurt? Oh, she she was lying. Okay. First you knocked her down, and then everybody started to hit her. Did anybody have a weapon? Yeah, the black pipe. You're making a sign of about yeah, how big like, the pipe was. Like what is that? A little bit less than two feet or about two feet long? Is that what you think? Oh, two feet long. It was small. And what was it? A stick or a pipe? It was a pipe. Who had that pipe? At first, I don't, I don't, at first, I don't really know. I don't bring nobody. I don't really know. But I think the tall black kid had a pipe. But I don't really know. Did you see what he did with the pipe? No, I just heard him. He hit him. And then we like, got off uh, and she got hit again with the pipe in the head. In the head? Yeah, and then... And was she standing up when she got hit in the head with the no, pipe, or she was already in the head? Yeah, and then we left. Okay, well, let's, let's go back for a second. Um, when she was on the ground and you said that you kicked her? Mm hmm Were other people also kicking and hitting her? Yes. How many times did you kick her? I think like twice. And what happened after you... Well, when you were doing that, were other people kicking her? Mm hmm And other people were hitting her? Was that before or after she was hit with the pipe? Before. Before. Was she still moving at that point? She was just like trying to hide stuff like that. So she was moving, yeah. She was moving. How many times was she hit with the pipe? Twice, in the ribs, in the side, in the head. Okay. And then? You said you heard her. I heard her get hit. The and, in the ribs. Hmm? I, heard her get, I heard her get hit in the ribs. Okay. And uh, did you see her get hit in the head? Heard it. I, I didn't really hear it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Who did it? Huh? Tall black, tall black kid. Tall black kid? What else can you tell us about that kind? Huh? What else can I tell? What's that? What else can you tell us about something uh, more about the tall black kid who hit her in the head with a pipe? Do you know what does he look like? What's his name? I don't know his name. Does he have a nickname? I don't know because I didn't see nothing to him. Okay. It's like parts of in groups. He has in the, sometimes in the back, sometimes in the, in the middle. After she was hit in the head with the, the pipe, did somebody take her clothes off? Yeah. Okay. Who took her clothes off? All of us. Like, no, not all of us. We grabbed her arms and stuff. Okay. Were you grabbing her arms? Yeah, I had her, I had her left arm. And where were you holding that? Over her head or to the side? or? So I had her like this and this. Okay. And you, and you were holding it. Was she yeah. trying to pull her hand away? Mm hmm And was somebody holding her other hand? Who was that? This kid, probably even came with a black hoodie. Okay. Was somebody holding her feet? Who was uh, holding her feet? I don't know who's holding her feet. Did somebody take her clothes off of her? Yes. Okay. What was she wearing? I think a white, a white, a white t-shirt or something like that. Who took off her shirt? It's to a black hair. Who took off her pants? I think, I think it's him. He's the only one like that. Did somebody have sex with her? Yeah. Did a lot of people have sex with her? Yeah. Okay. Who was the first person who got on top of her? Tall black hair. Okay. And did he take his pants off when he did that, or did he just open his fly, or what did he do? Guess he didn't. He didn't take down his pants. Hmm? He didn't take down his pants. He didn't take down his pants. By this point, though, she wasn't dressed anymore, right? Her pants were off? She wasn't dressed. Did she have her shoes still on? 
I don't know, Miss. I wasn't that good. Did she still have her shirt on? No. Right. You, no. Did she have a bra? I don't know. You remember? Did you touch her breast? Huh? Okay. You were holding down her arm, and you said the first person who got on top of her was this thin black guy. Mm -hmm. Did somebody else get on top of her then? Mm hmm. Who was that? Stuart, then he came back out, he grabbed one of her arms. Mm hmm. This other kid got on top of her. And who was that? This poor kid. The one with the black hood? Yes. Did uh, Clarence Thomas get on top of her? Yes. At that. After you did? Yes. Okay, so first it was the black guy, then it was the Puerto Rican guy with the black hood, then you got on top of her. Did you have your pants down when you did that? No. Did you have your fly open? Yeah, but um, my penis was in it. What happened? I just, like, my penis was in it. I just, I wasn't, I didn't was, put nothing in it. I didn't put nothing to her. Well, when you got on top of her, you got on top of her so that you could have sex with her, right? Not really. I just, like, I just doing this so everybody knows. I just, I wasn't like really doing it. You said you were just doing it so that everybody what? Like everybody just like, just know I did it. Well, how long did you, when you got on top of her, you had your penis out of your pants? Yes. And it was between her legs? No. It was against her? Yeah. And did you rub against her? Yeah. Did you have an erection? No. How long did you do that for? I don't know. A couple minutes. What were the other people saying while you did that? They were saying nothing. Well, while well, the other people were doing it, nobody said anything? After you were done, what happened? And then Clarence went. And then um, Kevin went. How about that guy, Steve Lopez? Did he do it? No. Not. I don't even know. I just know that who that that's the part that's the part I know. Wait, okay, so you say it was the black guy, that it was the Puerto Rican guy with the black hood, that it was you, that it was uh Clarence mm -hmm. Thomas, then who okay. came? And then um um Kevin. And then Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened after Kevin was done? And then like we left her there. She just like there. And then she got hit over there. We left her there. Who hit her? I don't know, I've just seen a pipe. I think it's called skin kit. Okay. After you were all done, somebody still hit her in the head? Huh? After you yeah, were all done, yeah, somebody yeah, still yeah. hit her in the head? She wasn't moving anymore by this time, was she? No. When you got on top of her, somebody else took her arm, right? Mm -hmm. When you got off and somebody else got on top of her, did you take her yeah. leg or what did you do? Just you just stood there? When Kevin was done, you say you left. Did anybody move her? Yeah. No. You were, you were left. Well, where was she when you guys so did that? She was right away. But she, was she right on the path? No. Was she in the brush there? Yeah. By the path? Yeah. She's like, not by the path, but like in the, like in the woods, like trees and stuff. I can't hear you. She's like in the trees and stuff, like, yeah. Okay. Did anybody throw her body down? Off the road? Well, while you were still there. I was still there. You just left it there? Yeah. Where'd you do that? You all left. Where'd you go? And you were walking down, down to about well, the reservoir. Then that's when you see, you see the jogger. Who was that? Huh? What did he look like? What he, was he wearing? He had on a green army jacket, some pants, and he had on a walkman, I think. And he was running? Mm hmm. What happened when you saw him? We was gonna let him go because we thought he was a cop. And he was dropping kind of slow. We was gonna let him go. You were gonna let him, did you catch him? Yeah. Okay. You you think, you think, you think? Think? If you speak a little slower and a little louder, I'm trying okay. to understand you, okay? okay? You saw, after you left the woman, you saw a guy in a yeah, green like army coat. Minutes later, like 15 minutes later, and where did you see him? On the path of the reservoir. By the reservoir, on mm -hmm. the same path that you had seen her? Yeah. How far were you from where her body was? I don't know. About? Like a block away or 10 feet away or how far away was it? Well, two blocks away. Okay. But it was still around the reservoir? Mm -hmm. Do you know where those buildings are? Those, uh, there's stone buildings on the reservoir? You know those pumps? 
you know, if you walk around the reservoir, there's a little stone building right on the reservoir. You don't know where that is? Probably is. Hmm? Is he paying attention? He probably is, but I wasn't paying attention. Okay. When you saw him, what happened? We thought he was a, we, we thought he was a police officer, so we just gotta let him go. And then he said something smart. Yeah. Well, okay, you said you were going to let him go. Did somebody grab him first? You guys said something. No, nah, we, we let him pass by. Oh, you let, let him, him pass go. by. And then he said something smart. What did he say? I don't know. He says, I know he said something smart. When when he said whatever he said, what did it sound, what did it mean to you? I mean that, that he's acting like he's bad. He's acting yeah, like he was bad? Yeah, yeah. And you let him go and stuff. So that pissed you off? Not me. Somebody else? Yeah. And then you let him go. Then so what did something. what did you okay? So he goes by and he says something. Yeah. And then to try to sound bad, what did you guys do then? And then this kid, with a, um, a pullover um goose down jacket. He grabbed him. He grabbed him right. He grabbed him and he threw him down. That's when we all started charging. Him. Yeah. Oh, and he was on the ground. You were all charging him. What were you all doing to him? Kicking him, punching. Did you kick him? Yes. Did you, did you punch him? Hmm? Yes. Did anybody have a weapon? A pipe. Okay, who had the pipe? Two of us, don't you? The guy who had it before? Mm -hmm. Did anybody have a knife? No. Do you know somebody by the name of Joseph or Yusef? No. No? Okay, what, uh, when this guy was on the ground and everybody was kicking him and you said, um, the tall black guy yeah. had a, yeah, like a, a pipe, right? Did he hit him with the pipe? Yeah. But he hit him in the head. Um, he hit him in the head. Where did he hit him? In the, in the back and stuff, the legs. And then, like, it kind of slipped out. And I grabbed it. And I grabbed it and I hit him in the leg. Um, when, uh... And then, and, and I think, I think somebody said, like, with a piece of wood over his head. So it broke. And it hit Steve, it hit Steve in the leg. And he got hurt. And that's okay, when... Somebody hit, who hit him with the, with the stick? Stick? I don't know. I know it's a piece of wood and it hit over his head, kept it and it broke over his This head. is the jogger that you hit. You don't know who hit him. But somebody kept hitting him and the stick broke? The stick broke. And what happened with the piece of stick? It broke and it hit Steve in the leg. Where did it hit him in the leg? I don't know, like down here. Like, like on the shin or something. On the shin? Do you know which leg it was? No. Nah. He hit him and he started breathing and stuff. And, uh... And that's like, we all started, we were left. You left out the park. Okay, did anybody take any money or any jewelry or anything from the woman? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You don't think so? How about from this uh, jogger in the um, in the green army coat? No. No? Not my eyes, dear. When, uh, when you got on top of um, this woman in the park, was she bleeding? Hey. Her head was bleeding? How about her face? Was it was dark. It was dark. But when you got on top of her, you laid down on top of her. No. Yeah. I mean, you did, right? Oh yeah. Did um, did you get any blood on your clothes? No. No. Are these the clothes that you were wearing? No. Okay. What did you do with the clothes that you wore that night? What that night? I took them off. No. And what were you wearing that night? I I had on blue. I had on blue Calvin Klein's with a black hoodie. With a black hood sweater. Hood. A black hooded sweater. Yeah, with a pair of new balance. New balance. And um, what kind of a shirt did you have on? That's just that's on the on that. I have on like a jacket and a feather sun and a hoodie. Okay. Did you hit the um jogger when he was on the ground? Mm -hmm. I hit him with the pipe on his leg. You hit him with the pipe in the leg. Um After Steve got hurt, that's uh, Steve Lopez, right? Mm -hmm. um, was he bleeding a lot? Oh, no. Yeah. Steve? I don't know. He, I don't know if he was bleeding. I just know his leg was really clean. Okay, I thought you had said he was bleeding. You don't know if he was bleeding. Mm -hmm. Was the man on the ground the, the person you had thought was a jogger? He was bleeding. He was bleeding a lot. Where was he bleeding from? His forehead. Or his head. Okay. And uh, was he bleeding from anywhere else? Uh, nah, I don't think so. I just seen him blood on his head. And we all left. We all ran out the park. Yeah. Not ran. You left from the park. Okay. And what happened when you left the park? You left the park and he was walking. He was walking down the west side. And then this green van came up, pulled over. And the, car, and the police said, stop. And he just said, stop. And everybody stopped. And then we all started running. 
Okay. And you ran away? Mm -hmm. Um, where did you run? I ran back in the park. Okay. And did the cops get you in the park? No. Okay. Where did you go when you went into the park? I went in the park and I jumped down. It was like, you know, the benches? Mm hmm. And then they got the brick, the brick, the brick wall. I jumped down. And I fell, I got back up. And you said you jumped, you ran yeah, over the wall into the I park. I went back through the exit when the baby came out, but there's a cop there coming. So I ran through the, I ran over the wall. You jumped over the wall and, and landed just in the, the brush in the, in the yeah. park. I got up, started running, and it was muddy. And I said, and I, and I, and I fell, I dove in the mud. I had it all over my clothes. My sneaker came on, so I put, on my, I put back on my sneaker. And then the cops were there, so I just laid back in the mud. So the cops could pass by. Okay, where was that, that that you were laying in the mud? Was that in a ravine? Nah, it, it, was it down a hill? Yeah, it, the other, it was like, it was down a hill, but it was, it was like, the hill was over here and it was like right here. Okay, so you ran down a hill and you lay in the uh, bottom so that the police wouldn't find you. Mm -hmm. Who ran over the wall with you? Me, Clarence, Kevin. And this other kid. Okay, did you all go and lay in the mud down there, or did uh, people go to different places? Me, Clarence, Kevin, and this other kid, I was with me. We, we, we said that. But he wasn't in the mud. I was the only one that was in the mud. I fell. I just laid in the so. circle. And then Clarence and Kevin was behind me. He was behind me, and this other kid was like, Bob Rock. And then the police passed by. And me, me, me and this, me and this kid in Orlando, the kid that was with me, we ran. Who was this, Orlando? Yes, King Orlando. Who's Orlando? I don't know, I met him when we were with the um, thing. You met him? When we were together. You met him that night? Mm -hmm. Had you ever seen him before? I seen like in the street and stuff. Okay, the street around where? Around like 115. So that's how he'd be past the child. Do you know where he goes to school? Do you yeah. know where he lives? No. Do you know what project he lives in? What uh, what happened after you saw the police go by and you were laying in the in the mud? Me, me and the nanny got up. Me and the nanny got up. I asked my parents and Kevin to come on, but they didn't run. I was like, I was pulling parents. I was like, come on, come on, and he didn't run. So he he said he was tired. So me and the nanny ran. You and who? Orlando. Yeah. And you, the two of you ran. And where did you go? Where did you run to? I ran to the baseball field. He was running, and the police seen us. They had this big spotlight, and they seen us, and they was like, don't run, we're going to shoot. But we kept running. We kept running. And then we went out. We got, um, and we left, we got out the park. But, um, um, my son in the hospital got out the park. We just walked down. And then we went to my house. And what did you do when you got home? I told my mother we just ran tired. That's why I was so dirty. And did you change your clothes? I changed my, I had to go to the store. I told my mom I could go to the store. She said, all right, my ankle was hurting. And then she gave me the money to go to the store, gave me some Chinese food. Did you and Clarence talk about what had happened after, uh, well, excuse me, did you and Orlando talk about what had happened after you got out of the park? Yeah. What did you talk about? He, he just said, he, he, he just said, I'm not doing that no more, I'm not doing that no more. And we didn't really do nothing. We didn't really do, we didn't really do nothing. We shouldn't have ran. That's what he was saying? Yeah. Earlier, when you spoke to the detectives and you gave them a statement, were your parents also present when you made a statement yeah. to them? They were also with you then? When the woman was on the ground, did you see anybody touching her breasts? He probably was, but I wasn't. Were some of the guys feeling her? Mm-hmm. Do you I know who they were? But well, you saw guys doing yeah. it. I just seen hands. Did, um, did anybody talk to you about what happened with, with her afterwards? Um. Nobody said anything to that? What time was it when you got home? 10.40. 10.40? How do you remember it was 10.40? Because I looked at my VCR clock. Because in the living room, you looked at my VCR clock. It's 
Okay. What time was it? I think you told us in the beginning. What time was it when you went out? Like around 9, 18, something like that. Because Clarence got to be on my tent. And he's going to come back. And then... The people that you were with are friends of yours? A lot of them? Yeah. Okay. How long have you known Clarence Thomas? Since I was in the fourth grade. Okay. How about Kevin Richardson? I, was, I met him like... Like last year in the summer. Okay. And Raymond Santana? Hey Amen. I met him this year. Steve Lopez? Steve. I met Steve like... I used to go to the school, 108. I mean, when you guys went into the park, what were you going into the park for? Just to have fun and stuff. Just to have a good time? Yeah. Did you have a good time? No, nah, now we was getting shakes. Before you got shakes? Nah, now, now we was hitting that man and like everything. It wasn't fun there. Okay. I don't think I have any more questions for you. I saw the way I picked up the tree branch and down the road where I strolled over there with the tree branch and uh, where I dragged the branch. She just kept moaning, you know, sitting, stopping me, grabbing my head, you know, and she was in pain and all that, you know. She was beating. I can't explain to you what happened after I left the park that night, but I can guarantee you that there is no way these kids saw this woman coming or have an idea of where she was coming from. I'm the one that did this. Still struggle every day, but I made it. You know, came home, didn't get in trouble. Work ever since I came home, pay taxes, take care of my kids, doing the best I can. So I told them I was gonna make it. I told them. The truth came out. The truth came out. <laughs> 